So you might be wondering, why do I need to clean the fan or the, um, the heat dissipation um, system on a PC? Well, you might be able to hear a noise in the background. This is the back of my Lenovo A700 uh, all-in-one PC. It's a 27 inch screen and it's also running on an i7 processor. Now, if we just have a look at this, so the vents down at the bottom, maybe you can see here, there's dust on there, but you see it more at the top. So it takes air, air in at the bottom and throws it out at the top. And you can see all the dust on the back there. Now if that's the dust that's been thrown out, uh, it's a case of what's on on those heat dissipation fins inside. Well we're going to take it apart and uh, give it a good clean up. Now I've already done this previously and the reason for that is as soon as you turn the PC on it starts to overheat and as it's overheating the fan kicks in and it's just a constant noise. Uh, we use this in the kitchen and the, the noise is unbearable. First thing that we've got to do is obviously turn it off at the mains and disconnect all the leads. Right, so all the leads are unplugged. Now we need to pick it up and uh, take it to a flat surface. Right, so the first thing that you need once you've got your flat surface is a towel. You need to put that down because when we bring the all-in-one down, it's going to be going down face down. Uh, you don't want to be scratching the screen or cracking the screen, so it just needs something soft to go onto. Right, okay, so that's the all-in-one. And we're going to pop it down like so. Uh, right, so it's nice and flat now and we need to take the back off. Okay, so before I disassemble this, I just want to show you from the bottom, if you can see all the dust and fluff that's stuck in the air vents at the bottom there, how much dust must have got through to the heat dissipation fins? Right, okay, so first thing to do on this Lenovo is to take the bottom cover off. Uh, now, if I'm not mistaken, I've done this numerous times. It's just tricky. There we go. Right, so that's the first thing that's got to come off. comes off like so. Now inside there, uh, that's my crucial SSD drive that I fitted. Absolutely fantastic, big recommendation. So the next thing we need to take off is this cover because from memory, the heat dissipation bit is up here. And, it, and it's amazing how much dust you can see in this. Because obviously as the fans are, are going, they're bringing air in and if you've got a dusty environment and we've got a parrot in this house, we've got dogs, etc, etc. So there's all sorts of things being sucked in. So we need to we need to get to the bottom of this anyway. So I'll go and get a screwdriver. All right, so there's a number of screws that we need to remove around here. So we'll get those taken off first. Take this off. About six months since I've done it. And you tend to forget. Okay, so that's the stand. Take that out. Right, now, lots and lots of dust. Right, we'll clean that 
in a moment. Just uh, have a look inside there, see all the dust. See all the dust in there. So we'll clean that up in a, in a moment. We need to remove this fan now, because obviously what happens is, uh, as it heats up, this fan sucks in the air and it takes it the cold air through this uh, and dissipates the heat. Right, so before I take the fan off, I'm just going to give it a quick um, a quick hoover. Before I do that, let's just bring the camera in so that you can see. So look at all the dust there. Lots of dust. Lots and lots of dust on the back of that. It's everywhere. Right, so let's get all this vacuumed. Right, I'm not going to dust the fan. We'll see what that looks like when I take it off. There's just three screws to remove. It's a nice easy job this actually once you get the case off. Right now, if we lift that out. Right, let's just zoom in so that you can see it. So the, what's got to happen here is the air has got to be forced through those vents now. You can see they're absolutely clogged with dust. So we'll get that removed. Clean the fan down. And you can see some of the some of the dust has actually dropped out in sheets of dust. Yeah. Let's just see if uh... Right, now that's a big difference. I'll just have a look, see if I can see through. Yeah, pretty much completely clear. So what that now means is these cooling tubes that cool down where the um, where the processor is in there, they are going to be cooled all the more effectively now because this this fin system has been cleared up. Right, that's fantastic. Okay, so let's just put put this back together now, and we'll uh, we'll get it all set up. Right, okay, so we've put that back on. I'm just going to move this back, vacuum the back properly down here. See if there's anything where the memory is. Okay, in there. Right, now let's get it reassembled. all back into place. Let's pop this back in. So really all told this is a, a 10 minute job but it is so worthwhile. The difference it makes is, uh, is pretty much unbelievable and you won't notice it until you're in the same room and sat down working on it, you don't hear the fan kick in and go full blast for all the time it's switched on. And this never gets switched off, it's pretty much on all the time. Um, and if you're doing other things in the kitchen and this is in the background, it's annoying. 
So get this done. Let's put the remainder of the screws back into here. Right, life's so much easier when you've got the right tools for the job. So magnetic screwdriver and just pop them in. You don't fall out of your fingers or anything like that. Right, and finally, so the last piece of the puzzle. It just sits on there and pops up, right? Done and dusted. Pop my keyboard and mouse sender unit into it. And that's it, we're done. So I just need to take it now, get it all powered up again. And uh, hopefully, well, in fact, I know it'll run a lot quieter feelings for me because it did, did the last time that I did this. Right, so we're all booted up, PC's running. I'll go around the other side and show you. As you can hear, or not hear, there's no fan noise whatsoever. Right, so here we are, around the front, looking at the screen, and there's nothing, there's, there's no fan. Um, well, there probably is a fan, but it's running quieter because it's not at full speed. Now, this will last for, well, it'll last for as long as it needs to last. Every house is different. If you're in an environment where there's no dust, no hair, no nothing, you probably never need to do this. However, if you're sat in front of an all-in-one PC or a desktop or a laptop, and all you can hear is the fan, do what I've just done. It will change how you use your PC. It won't be annoying anymore. Um, everything will run cooler as well. So that's a, a benefit when you're using a PC. So this is a real big recommendation for me. And at the moment, I'm probably doing it about every six months. Right, so I'm just editing the video now. And it's not that the fan doesn't work. It's just that the fan doesn't work at full speed constantly. It will cycle because the processor will get hot uh, and the fan will kick in. As I say, it's just now I don't have the fan constantly at, at maximum in the background all the time. So this is a real, for a 10 minute job, it's a real winner.